Hello students, welcome back to our YouTube channel Paper and Pen Mathematics for ICSC and ISC. If you are new on this channel, press the subscribe button and for the latest updates, hit the bell icon. A topic for class 10th is banking. What is a bank? A bank is an institution which acts as a deposit taking and money lending concern. The important categories of accounts are saving bank accounts, fixed deposit or term deposit accounts, and the last recurring deposit account we have to study recurring deposit account a recurring deposit account is a special kind of term deposit account offered by banks in India as a facility to people with a regular income to deposit a fixed amount of money every month in this account and earn interest at applicable rates to solve word problems of the exercise of this chapter we will have to use two formulas. They are number one, interest I is equals to P into N into N plus one into R upon two into twelve into hundred or P into N into N plus one into R upon twenty four hundred. Second formula is maturity value M V is equals to P into N plus I where P denotes the money deposits every month that is the monthly deposit N denotes the number of months R denotes rate of interest and T denotes time in years let's see the first type of question Aman deposits rupees 200 per month in an RD account for 36 months if the rate of interest given by the bank is 11 percent calculate the interest earned by him and his maturity value now for the solution, first of all, we will write the details given in the question, that is the given quantities. So monthly deposits by Aman, P is equals to 200, number of months, N is equals to 36, rate of interest R is equals to 11%, interest I is equals to question mark as we have to calculate interest and maturity value. So we will be using interest formula which is I is equals to P into N into n plus 1 into r upon 2 into 12 into 100 let's substitute the value i is equals to 200 into 36 into 37 into 11 whole divided by 2 into 12 into 100 after cancelling zeros of the numerator and the denominator and 36 by 12 and 2 by 2 we will get interest as 1221 now to calculate maturity value using the formula mv is equals to p into n plus i then in place of p 200 in place of n 36 and in place of i interest as we have calculated 1221 now 200 into 36 will give 7200 as a product and after adding 1221 we will get 8421 as the maturity value let's see the second type of question mr donald gets rupees 6455 at the end of a year at the rate of 14 percent per annum in an rd account find the monthly installment now the solution will be monthly deposit p is equals to question mark as we have to calculate time t is equals to one year number of months n is equals to 12 months as one year is equals to 12 months rate of interest R is equals to 11 percent interest I is equals to question mark and maturity value as rupees 6455 as a person gets the maturity value at the end of his term or at the end of a year so here maturity value will be rupees 6455 now using maturity value formula which is MV is equals to P into N plus I since i is not given in the question so we will replace i with its formula which is p into n into n plus 1 into r upon 2 into 12 into 100 after substituting all the values and cancelling the numerator and the denominator we will have 6455 is equals to 12p plus 91p upon 100 now taking lcm we will have 1200p plus 91p whole divided by 100 then 6455 
is equals to 1 to 91 p upon 100 then p is 6455 into 100 whole divided by 1291 now 6455 will be cancelled by 1291 5 times and 5 into 100 will give us 500 as the monthly installment now the third type of question is Ms. Charlene opened a recurring deposit account in a bank and deposited rupees 300 per month for 2 years. If she received rupees 7725 at the time of maturity, find the rate of interest per annum. Now we will begin our solution by writing all the details given in the question. Monthly deposit P is equal to rupees 300. Time T is equal to 2 years. Number of months is equal to 24 months. Rate of interest R we have to calculate so question mark maturity value M V as given in the question is rupees seven thousand seven hundred and twenty five using maturity value formula which is M V is equals to P into N plus I as I is missing in the question so we will replace I that is interest by its formula now substituting the values seven thousand seven hundred twenty five is equals to three hundred into twenty four plus 300 into 24 into 25 into R whole divided by 2 into 12 into 100 now after cancelling all the zeros of the numerator and the denominator and 24 will be divided by 12 2 times and 2 with 2 so what we are left with 7725 is equals to 7200 plus 75 R now 75 R is equals to 7725 minus 7200 so we will get 75 R is equals to 525 so R is equals to 525 divided by 75 so the rate of interest is equals to 7 percent let's see the last type of question Ms. Saha opened a cumulative deposit account also known as recurring deposit account or RD account of monthly installments of rupees 1200 at 9% per annum simple interest. She earned a total interest of rupees 5994. How many installments did she pay? For the solution, let's write the details given in the question. Monthly installment P is equals to rupees 1200. Number of months or number of installments N is equals to question marks. The rate of interest R is equals to 9% interest I is equals to rupees 5994 since interest has been given to us we will be using interest formula which is I is equals to P into N into N plus 1 into R whole divided by 2 into 12 into 100 now substituting the values of interest monthly deposit rate of interest we will have 5994 is equals to 1200 into n into n plus 1 into r whole divided by 2400 now 2400 will be divided by 1200 two times and after a cross multiplication we have 2 into 5994 divided by 9 is equals to n square plus n 5994 will be divided by 9 666 times and after multiplying it by 2 we will have 1332 is equals to n square plus n which will be transfer on the other side of the equal and it will give us a quadratic equation now to solve a quadratic equation we have to multiply the first term and the last term that is n square into 1332 which will give us 1332 n square which will be divided into two such factors whose product will give us 1332 and whose sum or difference will give us the middle term which is plus 1n so we have got 36 into 37 whose product is 1332 and whose difference is plus 1 so n square plus 37n minus 36n minus 1332 is equals to 0 now taking common from the first two term we will have n bracket open n plus 37 minus taking 36 common in the last two terms that is 
36 bracket open n plus 37 is equals to 0. Now taking the bracket n plus 37 as common we will have n plus 37 in one bracket and n minus 36 in another bracket is equals to 0. Now by zero product law we will be comparing these brackets individually by 0. So n plus 37 is equals to 0. So n is equals to minus 37. Since n was number of months or number of installments which cannot be negative so this is not our answer and we will neglect it. Comparing the second bracket n minus 36 is equals to 0 n is equals to 36 that is the answer which is your number of monthly installments. So these were all the four type of questions which we have discussed. Now these four questions are for your homework. You can solve these questions and drop the answer in the comment section for confirmation. Thank you students for watching these videos. If you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video. Do subscribe the channel and like and share the video.